Word wrap is a feature that can be used whenever you're working with text that's longer than the actual viewing area of your screen. In this example, I have three paragraphs. Each of these have 50 words of just lorem ipsum dummy text in it. You can see that the way this is showing here, that I can see all of the words on the screen. But notice the line numbers. So all of line 9 goes from here all the way down to where I find the 10. And so what's happening, all of line 9, all of this is on one line, but it's showing up where I can see it in this window. This is the function called word wrap. We can toggle this on and off up here by coming to view and turning uh, word wrap off. And when I do that, it applies to all of the content in the page. And you can see now that line 9, here's line 9, here's 10, 11, and here's 12. If I want to see all of that content, then I have to come down to the horizontal scroll bar at the bottom of the screen and just pull it across and I can go see all of that text. But who wants to work like this? That's not a good way to work. Sometimes you need to because sometimes it makes it easier to get to some of your content because notice that word wrap here only takes up these three lines. And if I turn word wrap back on, then it takes more of the screen space to show all of that. So you can toggle word wrap on or off just as you need to in order to help you to see things on your screen or to make it more compact so that you can get to element uh, headings easier. You can just do whatever you want to with word wrap. It only affects the way that you see things here on the screen. Just be always aware that whenever you see these line numbers, like line nine here, and you see the big gap, well, that means that everything here in this entire paragraph is part of line nine. Line 10 here is empty. And then line 11, well, it takes all the way down to here. That's the most important thing to remember about word wrap. Toggle it on, toggle it off as you feel necessary.